Venetian. Yeah, that's what Shaq said. It's a twerk. Here in Las Vegas and CES, <laughs> that's a twerk machine. You know how to twerk, honey? Uh, no. Trying to, but no, I don't. Oh, nice, hey, nice. Hey, you know, I got to give it out to Russia. I thought they spent all their the time left. rigging our election, ruining our country. Nice boots, Chuck. Shakes to the left Thank and you. shakes to the right. <laughs> Chuck, twerk, twerk it all night. <laughs> <laughs> twerk it all night, Chuck. We, uh, <laughs> we imagine this. We're actually going to talk some basketball uh, oh, yeah. here on TNT NBA Tip Off, presented by Auto Trader, uh, because Area 21 is up and running. We've got uh, Cleveland and Toronto coming up. Raptors 28 and 11, the second best record in the East. Ooh. Cleveland 26 and 14, Ooh. third best record in the East. Uh, KG and and the and the crew there. What do you make of the Toronto Raptors? What's up, Ernie? Hope y'all enjoying Vegas. Uh, man, the Raptors, for me, man, I need to see more playoff depth. I, I, you know, I like them during the regular season, uh, but Kyle Lowry, you know, when, when they go into the playoffs, he kind of disappears. I, I, need, I, need, I need them to go further. Well, I mean, what you guys think? I, I agree with you, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they have great regular season success, but when right. they get to the show, right. you know what I'm saying? That's when all the struggles come out. So, you know, I need to see something, you right. know, in that postseason as well. I love the Rosen, though. Yeah. I'll be real. I love the Rosen. You know, as a whole, I, I just don't think they have enough. Really? You know, to in compete. the East? Yeah, just right. overall, like late, mm. late, like when they get crunch time, right. playoff mm. time. You know, right. games right. five, six, seven go. Right. I don't think they have enough. But you will saying. admit that you need your two best players to be on in playoff time. Sure, right. That's all I'm saying. Cal I, has to be more consistent right, in the right, playoffs. Right, right, right. I like them, has but to be more right. I don't think their depth yeah. is what it needs to be at, though. But I would love to see what they do second. Um, Second half of the season. Um, Master, you this, Rashad. Is uh, DeRozan the best Raptor of all time? The best Raptor of all time? I like DeRozan. He's a great player, right. but I got to say Vince Carter. Right. Vince Carter? Vince Carter changed the game when he went there. Vince yeah. Carter? I'm Vince Carter. And don't forget about Damon Stoddard. Listen, man, like, Vince Carter. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's Even Vince. Tracy McGrady, who had a Max. short stint there, but him and Vince Carter kind of changed everything in Toronto. Oh, man. Chris Boss? Nah, I mean, Sajid Carter, man. You know, he's hey. my draft class. Right. Stuff that Chris he was doing was amazing. Chris Bosch career as a rapper. Right. I mean, Bosch, but yeah. I like to think that Vince Carter just changed the culture, man. Yeah. He, he, was, he changed the culture. He yeah. had us. Now, you think rappers, you think Vince. Right. And right. Then, you know what? Think about when we start traveling up there just to be able to, you know, see the city and, and explore, you know, Toronto. So, listen, DeRozan, I put him two, three mm -hmm. behind, you know, obviously Chris Bosch, but yeah, Vince Carter is probably the best rapper to yes. come out of uh, Toronto, but that's well, my Which, time. no doubt, hands yeah. down. Right. Unanimous decision right. up here. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. Back to you, EJ. All right, KG, thank you, guys. Uh, we'll check in it, again later in Area it, 21. I have to say it every oh. time we talk about Toronto. That is my favorite city in the world. Yeah. yeah. Right Shout on. out to my boy Rod Black up in Toronto. Oh, and by the way, Kenny Martin got a son. Just like you, Shaq got a son, and I got some, but Kenny Martin's son can play, First, too. You know what I always say about Kenny Martin? Oh, he's, one of, he's on he, the list. He's on the list. Yeah, yeah he's okay. on the list. If he says something about your mama, you make him repeat it. Because <laughs> you have to ignore it the first time. <laughs> so, you know, when somebody says something about your mama, you automatically got to fight. But Kenyon Martin, he's on the list. You have to make him repeat. Is, Ken, I, is Kenyon still there? <laughs> is Kenyon still there in Area 21? Uh, yeah, I agree. <laughs> come on, you guys. Oh. We, were ju we were just on there with him. Or have they all they unhooked and gone to eat? Okay. Kenny uh, Martin's one of those guys, if you get in a fight, you hope it's at a basketball game, say, break it up quickly. <laughs> <laughs> You're wasting all this good stuff in Kenyon. Size and, of it. Real talk. Yeah, okay. Real talk. Ken Kenyon, did you realize, Kmart, did you realize you were on the list, uh, on Chuck's list of guys not to mess with? Uh, yeah, I've heard a few times, man. Um, I think I earned it. <laughs> yes, he did. He just didn't put me on there. I think I, think I earned it. All right. All right. Yeah. All right, thank you guys. Now, Cleveland and Toronto, this, this would be an unbelievable matchup. I mean, this would really be something that you'd look forward to. But Toronto's got two starters out. Kyle Lowry's not going to play, hurt his tailbone. Uh, Serge Ibaka suspended for this game for getting into it with James Johnson the other night. So what are we going to learn, Kenny, about these teams from this meeting with two starters out for Toronto? Well, I don't think we learn anything in a, in a, in a um, series. But I think this is just for the maturation of Cleveland. They, they're not looking at it as Toronto. They don't look at Denver. Whoever comes in, they, they have a mission to when April comes to be playing their best basketball because they have injuries. They have guys coming in and out. They have guys who, uh, you know, obviously Derrick Rose. We talk about uh, IT, Isaiah Thomas. So their whole thing is how do we look in April and how are we going to get there? So 
this all-star break stretch that is about to happen is big for them as well to get some continuity. So they're not paying attention to that now well, because they feel they're the best in the East regardless. Well, and I'm going to disagree a little bit with that because I think this is a big game for the Raptors. Even without the two starters? Even without the starters because at some point, if they could win this game, it'll be big for them, for their confidence. At some point, you talk to guys talking about it, nobody takes the Raptors serious. At some point, you're going to have to beat Cleveland and Boston, or people are going to say, most people don't even realize how good the Raptors are because they're like, it's Boston and it's Cleveland. But don't you have this built into this game now to say, yeah, they, yeah, Cleveland came up to our gym and beat us, but Kyle wasn't there, Serge wasn't uh, there. But, so. but, but it will help their younger players because um, one of the guys in the studio said they got to get more out of other guys. We, right. ca we ca it just can't be the Rosen and Lowry taking them. They got to get some, develop some depth on that bench. They, they need, because to beat the Cavaliers, you're going to have to be a depth, have, have great depth. Ernie, Ke uh, uh, Kevin, <clears throat> excuse me, Kevin mentioned it earlier. The reason why nobody takes the Raptors seriously is because in the playoffs, you know, as, you know, as far as getting further, Larry disappears. I have to, you know, add on to what Kenny's saying. When you're a veteran team, you worry about some type of home court advantage, one through four. But Cleveland's not really worried about this game tonight. Can they win it? Yes. <clears throat> the only reason why Cleveland lost 14 games is because they started off slow. But Kenny, I agree with you. They're not worried about Boston. They're definitely not worried about Toronto. But Toronto has to take that next step for us to give them respect. And, and, yeah, and Raptors. This is, this is one of those games that you have to say to yourself, we got to show these guys we can beat them. They don't, you're right. They don't take them serious. So but it's saying even without the two guys, it, 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 if it, they it, come close or beat them, they go, see, it, it, we're, right here. No, we're help, right here. We're right here. It helped their confidence. From a, com from a confidence standpoint. I got you. They're 14 and 2 at home are the Raptors. The fewest home games in the NBA so far. 14 and 2. Washington beat them. Miami beat them. Yet a 28 and 11 record, second best and we're not talking in the about Eastern Conference. Miami's playing great, too. Yeah, they are. Yeah, most people. I've been watching them the last two weeks or so. Very underrated, but Miami is playing fantastic. Great job, Eric Spolstra. Yeah, they have uh, won six in a row. Back number four in the uh, Eastern Conference. <laughs> that looked familiar, Shaq. It certainly did. <laughs> That's funny. Whatever. Hey, hey. <laughs> Do you feel like Shaq a new man, Shaq? Shaq got back. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, get Shaq it, got get back. it, get Shaq it, got back. get it. Shaq got back. <laughs> Shaq got back. Shaq got back. We'll take hey. another break here in Vegas. Oh.